Then, so um, my uh, S1000 XR 2022 triple black. Apologies for the condition of it, um, but um, I'm going to be fitting today a radiator protection kit for the radiator. I had the bike three weeks, and as you can see, um, it was already quite dirty. Um, so I uh, went to MMPs in Cardiff. So yeah, purchased a oil protection kit from BMW. Come in about forty-two pound. Um, so in the kit, you get the oil radiator, um, plastic piece. The main radiator guard. And somewhere in there is, well, hopefully, yeah, there you go, is the little plastic fittings. Um, so, looking at this, um, I think you have to take the bottom fairing off, which are nuts or bolts or torque screws located there. Uh, the other fair enough and I think by looking at the radiator guard those lugs locate into those lugs on the side um, so uh, there's like a little hook and the quality looks all right. It's honeycomb. Uh, it's plastic. It's light. Um, once I got it fair enough, I'll give that a little clean. Um, but first of all, I need to take off the lower fairing, which is one, two, three, four screws. It's a T25, and I'll undo those three screws. All three screws undone, and it's a simple pull off. Off on there, and I'll just undo the side. So we got one, two, three to undo that. Uh, I'll just undo that. Uh, again, they're T25s, um, but just be careful. There is a little rubber grommet that you don't want to lose. So just quickly taking those uh, off and they're the same
um, and there's a further bolt in there for the screw. All pretty easy to get on. You want to take the steering lock off. Um, I haven't taken the front wheel off. One's a little bit difficult, but So all bolts are off this side, so top one there, one inside there, one here, and then one, two, three around the lower panel. Um, let me just see how that panel is fixed on. I thought it was a separate panel. Looks like it was a separate panel, but it's the same panel. So all of this is one panel. Um, so I'm just thinking whether I can leave it like that on or whether it needs to come off. Um, and there's one more screw, which is T25 in there. Um, and a further screw down on the bottom to get to the oil cooler radiator so one more at the top in there and at the bottom
Okay, so that's all the bolts out, all screws out for the shroud for the radiator. So that's nice and free all the way around and all the fairing on this side. So we don't actually have to take the fairing off, just have to loosen it. The bolts are different, different sizes. So I've laid them out as they would come out. Opposite side, exactly the same. All the screws laid out so I know where they've come from. And fingers crossed, that's the shroud coming away now nice and easy. That's around literally pulls out of there. There is a a clip caught around a wire here. Um, same on the other side. Is it the same on the other side? We shall have a look. Nope. So that's just easily come away. Okay, so that wire was just pushed into that little clip there. So just pull it out. So this time I did use my Ryobi tools just to undo the bolts quicker. Um, but that's a, a front fairing off. And then we have oil cooler, radiator, that little wire. So just have to be mindful of that when it goes back in. Um, uh, and now I'll just give it a quick clean before I start fitting everything. Okay, so just giving it a quick clean using some muck off and a sponge. Um, just to get rid of all the crap. Uh, but I'll jet wash it later to get rid of most of the crap. So, there's my radiator guard. It's quite obvious which way it goes. Um, and I'm going to look to locate it. Actually, on the bike. cooler clearly goes again one direction so I'd assume looking at the housing that it fits onto the onto the housing yes okay brilliant that's easy so turn the housing around, be careful not to scratch it. And it clearly sits in those grooves. Well that's relatively easy. Um, and then obviously the fitting kit, which came in that little bag. think makes the tabs stick onto it. So you get a rubber grommet and again I'm totally going off what I see in front of me. Um, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a rubber grommet. So I think the rubber grommet goes on here now when I purchased this from MMPs there were no instructions um, but I was told it was really simple so I think they go on just literally push on like that and hold it on yeah easy
tutto va da noi there's not a lot of force required they just push on over and I think that's why you have to take the front fairing off because it obviously all mounts behind so that's six on the radiator guard three each side rubber, rubber grommet down below and then four on the so it's six on the top and then four on the bottom two either side two on the bottom so when done it's nice and sturdy in place and when turned over yeah I think it looks really good so now to fit back on the bike which is the reverse put the fairing in um, and then do up all the, the bolts in the, in the correct holes uh, so uh, bear with me well I see how easy it is to to get it in I'll offer it up I've got to remember the cable on this side which pushes in to that little clip and the best way to do that is grab the table cable top and bottom slide it into that clip done just be careful about scratching anything that's in on that side in on the top um, so that was quite straightforward quite easy um, and I'll just start putting the screws back in yeah so uh, what I've done refitted all the screws a um, little bit fiddly but not horrendous I was able to get them all in and lined up uh, and in the correct order it is kept you have to be careful that you put the right sized screw back in so I haven't done them all up what I did was just uh, loosely do them so they're all aligned and then I'll now go round and do them all individually uh, there are no torque settings um, so I think I'll just do them um, uh, relatively uh, tight, but not enough to to damage the plastic. Because at the end of the day, it is plastic going onto plastic.
Uh, yeah, that's all the bolts done up. Um, I'll go back over, do them up by hand. Um, but yeah, they're quite straightforward. So yeah, that's finished now. Um, I'd say 50 minute job. Yeah, very easy. Just undo some screws. Um, offer up the plate. Put the clips on. That little rubber bung uh, is obviously to stop this from rattling. Um, so they're sturdy, they look really good. Um, it's quite evident if you do get a hole wrong with a, with a bolt, a screw size. Um, because I messed up with this one here and this one here. And that was a short one, that was a long one. That one then went in there, it stuck out. Whereas they're all flush, but it stuck out a little bit. Uh, so it's quite easy to do. So yeah, really simple job. Um, for the price, I think £42. Um, definitely not worth getting fitted. Fit it yourself. Uh, gives that little bit of protection and also stealths out the bike a lot more. So I really like it. Considering that the TFT protector is the same price, I think it's good value for money.